we were still in the car <coughs> when they started boarding. You know what happens when there's a lot of smoke in a house? Built-in bunk beds in Brennan and Ryan's room. The detail is quite amazing. It's working, shut up. I did not expect this to work. Thanks for listening to our story time. Adios. Party people, uh, I don't even know if we're vlogging today, but if we are, and hopefully I'm open, hopefully I'm the first thing you see. So hello, uh, I just wanted to break the camera out to you guys. I was making some breakfast, mainly because I'm just very proud of how this looks. I toasted my bagel already. I'm getting some bacon, get some eggs going. If you don't know what that entails, well, it's a bacon, egg, and cheese. It's probably the most simple and my most favorite breakfast item ever. So, hold on, I gotta stir these eggs up real quick. So, basically, you toast a bagel, put hard boiled, or, yeah, no, sorry, scrambled eggs on it, and then a piece of, and then like two or three pieces of bacon, and it's just absolutely fire. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, finish making this uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Actually, you know what? I'll take a video of the rest of it, and we can fast forward it, and then I'll show you the finished product. And uh, I'm excited as how this is gonna turn out. So yeah, she's out. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, while I was taking that video, the bacon was burning. And you know what happens when bacon burns? Well, there's a lot of smoke. You know what happens when there's a lot of smoke in a house? The smoke alarm goes off. <laughs> Yay me. And guess who isn't home? Everyone. So I kind of panicked, and I wish the camera was on because it was kind of funny, uh, but also kind of traumatic at the same time. But the smoke alarm went off, and I freaked out, and I had to go over, and with the years of experience of watching what other people do when the smoke alarm goes off, I took a towel and went like this over the smoke alarm. I think I'm gonna do it two or three more times because I'm putting more bacon on, which is gonna just smoke more. So uh, yeah, that was kind of an absolute fail, but um, I'm still gonna make this bacon egg and cheese. It's still gonna be awesome at the end. So yeah, back to the best part. So this is basically it. This is the bacon, egg, and cheese. You got some extra eggs, some extra bacon on the side. Really, it's just the ultimate breakfast. I mean, you get your protein, you got your carbs, you got everything you need to start your day. I'll usually, hold on. Well, I usually chuck a little bit of salt on it just because I like salt with my eggs. Um, but bacon's already pretty salty, so I don't know if I need it. Um, also, the camera might be a little crooked. I'm sorry about that. Um, and yeah, that's it. Actually, I think I'm gonna, oh wait, hold on. Big egg and cheese goes great with some OJ though. If you ever make one of these, which I'm sure you have, I'm sure I'm not the only one that makes big egg and cheeses. Just pour yourself a nice tall glass of OJ and sit down and watch your favorite TV show. I would sit down and watch Phineas and Ferb, but I started uh, Hamilton last night, or yesterday, because it's on Disney Plus. So I started it and I think I'm gonna watch the last like 45 minutes of it while I just absolutely destroy this bacon and cheese. So yeah, I'll uh, see you later in the day, folks. All right, good morning, everybody. Katie and Brendan left this morning. They flew away from us. You probably saw Ryan making his breakfast. Um, Pap and, K and Ryan and I are at the Home Depot. Right. Yes, what are we doing today, Pap? Getting two befores, getting some lumber for the bed. That's right. Yeah. Pap's gonna help us. Well, he's he's designed it. Is gonna help us make built-in bunk beds in Brennan and Ryan's room. So there's Rye Guy right now, coming up perfect. So we'll show you the before and after. It's gonna be a few days until it's done. Probably more than a few days. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not too much. Um, we're gonna try to knock it out, and we're very excited about it. Excited? Oh, very. All right.
Like Cafe Rio action. Let me see those burritos. Mm. Wait, this is the other one. It's just at its waiting place before oh, I no. switch over. Cafe Rio is so awesome. Got some food. Oh, uh, should we tell them about how we almost missed our flight? Can you? Do we almost miss our flight? Okay, so we were running to this flight. You know what I'm saying? Like we were running because we were still in the car <coughs> when they started boarding. Pardon us, we haven't eaten anything all day. That's why I know. I, was <laughs> we, I literally didn't eat breakfast. Like this is the first time I'm eating today, and it's like four o'clock. Anyway, so um, we were like running into the ho uh, hotel, into the airport, and then. The elevator was broken, or the escalator was broken, so um, we had to run up the stairs with our suitcases. <laughs> and don't show my license plate back there. And um, yeah, so it was really scary. And then we got to the gate, and there was nobody outside of it because, oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. I was like, I need two hands to eat. Like, you don't, but okay. Then we were, look at this food dripping down my, uh, we uh, missed almost missed the flight because the gate was like empty there was no one left like we were literally the last ones and um we're like bro where's our gate and they're like oh they're on the like they're on the plane like he's probably go and i was like shoot so we ended up getting on we didn't sit next to each other though yeah we have rando seats yeah but we were close to each other like i was, I was like here and he was like there but it's okay but we're back i watched um hannah montana the whole way home that's tight. Yeah, so that was good. Also, if you ever go to Cafe Rio, get this green sauce. That's literally like it heaven. Buses. It is so good. If you're from Utah, you probably know what this is. Do they have it in Utah? I started in Utah. Really? Uh huh. Timmy eats it. Timmy! And Danny. Her and mom used to go on um, Cafe Rio dates because there used to be one in the mall. Well, I closed it up. I opened this one. You got really upset. Might have closed. Yeah. Uh -huh. But now, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for listening to our story time. Adios. Alright, sweetie, what's happening here? How are you guys? So, we have a condo in Florida, as you know, and we've been trying to furnish it. So we've been using a mixture of Facebook Marketplace and things that we've already had and things that we purchased from other people, like the renter, other people, the renter who was here before. So I've been looking and searching and searching for dining room tables and chairs and we found this set that was completely free and we think the reason it was free is because it was really heavy. <laughs> so Mike and Brennan went and um, got this and this obviously is not. We put the cover on it so you wouldn't be so disgusting when we ate on it. So this is, we think they used it as a craft table after uh, they decided it wasn't going to be a dining room table anymore. It looks like the chairs, they have covered a couple of times. You can see that this is like brown covering right here. It's disgusting. And underneath it is like the original white. It's just really in, in bad shape, but it's kind of a cool, I'm still deciding if I like it or not. It has amazing detail. Like if you look at the um, pedestal, You'll see down under here, the detail is quite amazing. So I think it has potential, I really do. I don't like the color that it is now. It's obviously a mess. So I really wanna DIY it. I'm not sure I'm gonna do chalk paint. I've been doing a lot of Pinterest reading with chalk paint, but I don't know about that. But the first step I'm going to do is I would really like to strip at least the table down to its original wood. So I'm gonna be using um, a product called Citrus Strip, which I'll show you, hold on one second here. And I just read about citrus strip, and that's what people are using. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to coat it all over the top, and then put saran wrap over it, let it sit for about an hour, and then try to scrape it off. And I'm hoping that I can get down to original wood, because I'd really like to either just um, polyurethane that original wood or stain it, because I would like to do, ideally, a wood top. And then if you come around here, Mike, I'll show you. Hopefully a wood top, and then I have all these different paint chips down here of what this and this might be, and then the chairs would probably be that same like light color, and I'm leaning towards 
the cream it's called cream this one i'm sort of leaning towards that one, but i don't know i might like that one i'm not sure if i like any of them so we'll see i've never done this before this is quite a project but i'm anxious to try it and hopefully it works out all right chili uh, what's with the goggles i forgot to buy safety goggles at home depot today <laughs> <laughs> so thank goodness i had my swim goggles so um this is very harsh chemical so i did not want to risk getting it in my eyes. Uh, so see, the the um, swim goggles are the best alternative. That's a good thing on safety, good job. Yes, 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 I, I do not take this stuff seriously. Sure. So I'm painting this on. The thing is, is they say it's only active when it is um, wet. And apparently it dries very easily. So you're supposed to put saran wrap over it. Yeah. So when I'm done with Putting it on the... You should throw that, that plastic uh, tablecloth over the top of it. Will that work? Oh, yes it would. I betcha. That's a good that idea, Michael it. John. That You're a thinker, it. you know that? Would you like me to get it for you? You're an idea guy. Yes, please. That would be excellent. When I, just like Arthur Fonzarelli and... Uh, Arthur Fonzarelli. Is he an idea guy? The Fonz? Uh, the Fonz in... Um, what's it called? Oh, yes, yes, yes. But that wasn't him. Night shift. Yes, I thought it was... Um, uh, the other guy, uh, yes. not Tom Hanks, but mm -hmm. uh, Michael Keaton. Michael, 10 points, Hank. Thank you. Yes. I thought he was the idea guy because he wanted to just go ahead and feed the tuna mayonnaise. So <laughs> automatic tuna fish. Brilliant. Tuna fish salad. We'll put it that exactly. Way. All right. There's chili going to town. Mm -hmm. It kind of smells good. You like it? It's citrusy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it um, hurting your eyes at all? No. Good. Right, I go. think I might not have put enough on when I started my first. I think I have to glob it on. I'm not sure yet. Glob away. Okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. My table project continues. Last night, I took this citrus strip and painted it all over the tabletop. So I'm just going to try to strip the gunk off of the tabletop and then paint the rest of it. So I put it on here and I have read several blogs telling me that if you put saran wrap over it, uh, it will stay nice and moist and work. And I guess the deal is with citrus strip, it has to stay wet to be working. If it dries, it stops working. So instead of saran wrap, Mike came up with this great idea. We had this um, plastic tablecloth left over from Katie and my mom's birthday celebration. And so we put that over the top. So I'm gonna peel it back and see what it looks like and see if I can start to strip. So stay with me and see if this works. All right, I'm gonna strip, pull this back. See what we find. Right, let's try a little corner here. Oh, wow. Look at that, it's working, shut up. I did not expect this to work, oh my gosh. Look at that nice wood too. Oh, I'm so excited, if that is light wood like that, oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna strip it and put it in, it like um, put it in a container. We have an old paint can, I'm gonna like put all the yunk in an old paint can and I will show you how it goes. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.